session will be open with prayer. Prayers will be offered by the chaplain of the Senate. Today's chaplain is the Reverend John Doerr, Jr. of the Bethlehem Stelts Reformed Church in Glen Rock, Pennsylvania. Please rise. Thank you to the Senate and to Senator Phillips Hill for this wonderful opportunity. Please join me in prayer. Oh Lord God, you have blessed us in so many ways. You have given us this good commonwealth as our heritage. As we navigate the troubled waters of our present age, we pray that you would always watch over us and enable us to be a people who are mindful of the blessings we have received and eager to share those blessings with one another. We are grateful to you, Lord God, that the pandemic that has plagued us for over a year shows signs of receding. Comfort those who have lost loved ones. Heal those who still struggle with the effects of that horrible illness. Bless, O oh Lord, our state with productive industry, a fruitful land, quality education, and a respect for those who are different from us. Save us from the violence, discord, confusion, pride, and arrogance that seem to flourish. Heavenly Father, preserve our liberties and mold us into one people who have come from many diverse backgrounds. Help us to look to your word that we may be a blessing to the nations of the world. In times of trouble, help us always look to you. In times of plenty, fill us with the thankfulness and eagerness to help others. I pray today, Lord, that you would be with the members of this Senate and our other governmental officers of this Commonwealth. Fill them with the spirit of wisdom so that there may be justice and peace in our land. Protect each citizen of our state and help us to be beacons of light in the darkness. I ask all of these things in the strong name of your Son, our Savior. Amen. Chair now recognizes Senator Phillips Hill. Thank you, Mr. President. I rise to introduce and thank today's guest chaplain, Pastor John Doerr Jr. of the Bethlehem Stelts Reformed Church in Glen Rock, York County. Pastor Doerr has been with the church since 2011, and the church's mission is to spread the gospel all across the world. We are grateful that Pastor Doerr could join us today virtually to pray for this chamber at the start of an important week. His thoughtful prayer speaks to all of us. Thank you again to Pastor Doerr for providing the Senate with today's opening prayer. Thank you, Mr. President. 